The Roman deity Mithras appears in the historical record in the late 1st century AD and disappears from it in the late 4th century AD. Unlike the major mythological figures of the Greco-Roman religion, such as Jupiter and Hercules, no ancient source preserves the mythology of the god. All of our information is therefore derived from depictions on monuments and the limited mentions of the cult in literary sources. The temples of Mithras were always an underground cave, featuring a relief of Mithras killing the bull. This Toroctony, as it is known today, appears in the same format everywhere, but with minor variations. The cult was all male. There were seven degrees of initiation. Different ritual meals were associated with each stage. Some monuments show additional episodes of the myth. In the paintings at Dura Oropos, the story begins with Jupiter fighting against the giants. This is followed by a mysterious depiction of a bearded figure reclining against a rock with the leaves of a tree above. This figure is sometimes thought to be Oceanus, the personification of the ocean. In the painted Mithraeum at Hoth in Syria, further scenes appear. Mithras is depicted with a chained demon at his feet, while in another scene he is depicted attacking a city manned by the demons. The scenes then follow the normal myth. The normal myth is this. The image may be a relief or freestanding. The side details may be presented or omitted. The centerpiece is Mithras clothed in Anatolian costume and wearing a Phrygian cap, who is kneeling on the exhausted bull, holding it by the nostrils with his left hand and stabbing it with his right. As he does so, he looks over his shoulder toward the figure of Saul. A dog and a snake reach up toward the blood. A scorpion seizes the bull's genitals. The two torch bearers are on either side, dressed like Mithras. Cautus with his torch pointing up, and Cautopetes with his torch pointing down. The event takes place in a cavern, into which Mithras has carried the bull after having hunted it, ridden it, and overwhelmed its strength. Sometimes the cavern is surrounded by a circle, on which twelve signs of the zodiac appear. Outside the cavern, top left, is Sol the sun, with his flaming crown, often driving a quadriga. A ray of light often appears to connect the two. Top right is Luna, with her crescent moon. Also found in some reliefs is a mysterious lion-headed figure, who may perhaps have been called Aramanius. He is entwined by a serpent, with the snake's head often resting on the lion's head. The lion's mouth is often open. He is usually represented having four wings, two keys, sometimes a single key, and a scepter in his hand. Sometimes the figure is standing on a globe inscribed with a diagonal cross. It is certain that Mithras is born from a rock, depicted here uh, rising from the rock, not yet visible below the knees, holding a torch and a dagger. In the scenes, he is depicted in his temples hunting down and slaying the bull. He then meets with the sun, who kneels to him. The two then shake hands and dine on the bull. Mithras is always described as Sol Invictus, the unconquered sun. But Sol and Mithras were different deities. Although Mithras himself is called Sol Invictus, the unconquered sun, he and Sol appear in different scenes as separate persons, with the banquet scene being the most prominent example. Other scenes feature Mithras ascending behind Sol in the latter's chariot, the deities shaking hands, and the two gods at an altar with pieces of meat on a spit or spits. One particular scene shows Sol nearing, kneeling before Mithras, who holds an object, interpreted either as a Persian cap or the haunch of the bull in his hands. 
And this is a picture of Sol, the sun, uh, holding a globe with what is interpreted as a whip behind it. These are the seven grades that the initiates could attain. They are raven, bridegroom, soldier, lion, Persian, sun runner, and father. Then you can see on the right-hand column, the raven is Mercury, the bridegroom is Venus, soldier is Mars, lion is Jupiter, Persia is the moon, the sun runner is the sun, and the father, of course, is Saturn. And this is from Google Maps. There's a link to this on the uh, original page. These are all the uncovered known temples. But remember, they're all underground, built as caves. So I'm sure not all of them have yet been discovered. And this is Bloomberg Place in London. Um, on the also pictured here, I'm not sure which building it is, but also pictured here is the Bank of London. And this is the piece of information that got me started on this whole Mithras thing. Um, Bloomberg, this should be completed next year, according to the reports that I've seen. And it is being built on top of a temple of Mithras. So you can see this is uh, from the New York Times. It is the biggest development of the city's buzzing financial district, even the Olympic jaded Londoners, the articles from uh, 2013, call it grandiose. Two bronze and stone towers connected by sky bridges atop the ruins of a 2,000-year-old Roman temple. You can see here, this is a picture from before the construction started. They had left the actual uh, main passageway, I guess you could say, and then the, the statue would have been at one of the ends of this. They'd left this as like a courtyard between the buildings, but obviously the new Bloomberg Palace, or Bloomberg, I call it Bloomberg Palace, was Bloomberg Place, uh, is going to just incorporate this into the new building, as uh, we'll see here. So it was in one corner of the development since the, sits the Temple of Mithras, a relic from London's days under Roman rule. First uncovered in 1954, the temple, a sacrificial altar for an ancient religion, is being restored at Mr. Bloomberg's expense. Last month, a team of 55 archaeologists from the Museum of London were combing the temple site. Their efforts, paid for by Mr. Bloomberg, have turned up dozens of artifacts, including coins, pewter bowls, jewelry, and preserved, just where it was found, a human skull. When the plaza is finished, visitors may descend from Bloomberg Place to view the temple in its original setting. The artifacts, however, become the property of Bloomberg LP, spoils of an expanding modern-day empire. So I really don't know what to think of all this. You know, the timing of it would have been, the religion would have started basically just after Christ, like mid-first century, and then fell out of fashion when Christianity became big or, you know, started to basically started to take over the empire, like 300s and 400s. And some of the pictures on the site show like decapitated statues where like the Christians went in and destroyed all the temples. I, mean, I find it especially important that the temples were all caves as in like it would have been something that you would worship underground. Um, also how Mithras is the, in, the unconquered sun, like S U N unconquered sun and interacted with the regular sun, like would follow it in its chariot, shake hands, like connect with it. Um, and then kind of just go on its way. You know, I mean, you have a scorpion, a snake, a dog, a bull, like, a lot of times the Zodiac was pictured around this. I mean, I'm no astrologer at all. Like, I know I'm I'm a Taurus, so killing this bull is kind of... <laughs> Maybe that's part of why I find this so interesting. I know you're killing my, you're killing my boy here. I don't know. It just seems like... It, and all of the, the worshippers were... Or all the inductees, I guess you could say, were male. And again, being underground just seems weird to me. Like, it, it, I don't know. Building it... Building caves... 
to worship the sun deity god thing. It just seems weird. But I mean, it was Saturn would be the, the highest level of initiate. And it said there were no priests from the, the article or from the, the website that I read. It's a really good website, really in, de- in detail. And I only covered like a tab and a half. And there's tons more pictures of all the old artifacts and everything. So I don't know. I'm going to kind of stew on this and, and do a little bit more reading on it. But I feel like there's something here. I don't know. This grabbed me right away. And the fact that Bloomberg and all those jerks are restoring the temple and using using that energy source to put their new building on top of. and I don't know. It just seems like something is here. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. And if you have any more information, I don't know. Because like I said, this first time I've heard of this, Mithras. And it just seems like something's here. I don't know. My antenna's up on this one.